Hi, I'm Mary, and if you would like to learn more about uh, gardening, crafts, home decorating, holiday decor, then you're in the right place. And you might want to think about clicking on uh, the subscribe button and that little bell down there. Today, everyone, I am going to be doing a uh, challenge that is being hosted by Heidi Sonball and also by Jessica from Measure and Mix. And this uh, is a thrift store makeover and I'm going to be working on a piece that's from my daughter's house. I'll lift it up here so you can have a look. This is a very heavy metal piece that we bought at a garage sale about two years ago. Now, my daughter had uh, originally had her house decorated in a kind of a Tuscan style, but now she's wanting to lighten it up and make it look brighter. So with this piece, I am planning to chalk paint most of the outside of the metal piece. Let me take take it up here again so you can have another look. So this inside I plan to leave as is and I as I said plan to chalk paint the exterior and it might take two coats but we'll see how it turns out because we would like to use it in her powder room in her house and if I can make it look beautiful again then uh, and you know to go with her new decor then that's what we will be doing. So let's get started on the painting. All right, guys, as you can see, I have placed blue painter's tape on the inside edges to protect that from getting uh, paint on it, of course. I have my paintbrush and my chalk paint on this old uh, paper plate. And I am using a uh, folk art home decor chalk paint, white. It's called White Adirondack. And this is the paint I'll be using. And like I said, it might take two coats. We'll see how it looks after coat number one. And I'll get started painting. And let's hope it turns out great. The first coat of the chalk paint has dried on my piece and I've also removed the blue painter's tape. And I am liking the look pretty much and I actually have decided not to do a second coat of the chalk paint. And rather than that, uh, I'm going to bring out a little bit of the brown that is underneath the chalk paint on the frame portion because um, <clears throat> I don't want it to be such a stark white against the dark uh, picture there. 
So I'll be doing some distress sanding and you can see how I work on this next. I have a small piece of sandpaper here and I'm going to fold this in thirds. I learned this from a Swedish friend of mine some years ago for sanding and how to get your sandpaper so that it doesn't slip and slide around but you get a smaller piece. So just fold it into thirds. Now, let's get started on this process and see if I like or if you like the effect. Well, I have completed my project, my uh, thrift store makeover, and guys, uh, you know, mine was actually purchased at a garage sale for, I believe we paid two or three dollars for this heavy metal piece over here on my counter. And um, I wanted to share with you a reminder of the befores and then how it turned out here in the after. So I'm just going to show you now this before picture and you can take a look at how dark it is and very heavy looking uh, not just heavy in weight <laughs> but heavy in feeling and uh, so here's the before picture and now let's take a look at what it is since I added some white chalk paint to it and distressed it I think it's just perfect it has a little bit of that chippy look and uh, I think it will be really great in my daughter's bathroom uh, once she has uh, done the rest of the decor changes with painting and so on. So it will add a lot, a really nice piece. Um, so today I just want to say thank you to Jessica from Measure and Mix and from Heidi Sanbul for, for hosting this challenge, which has been really, really fun. And um, down below in my um, description box, I will have a link to the playlist so you can get many more ideas from some other wonderful creators for thrift store makeovers. And I hope you're having a lovely day and come on back to my channel.